uh, tell me what, like, what, how did you survive COVID with the comedy, uh, uh, or like the just the change in like how how is the scene very different? Was it weird? Uh, did you do a lot of Zoom stuff? Does Zoom stuff work okay for? Um, I mean, it was fine. It was interesting. Zoom was like a different cadence of comedy. Um, like a different rhythm. Because, you know, I mean, when you do comedy, you get laughter feedback. And then the laughter feedback is a rhythm that you respond to. Um, so, but there was none of that on Zoom. So it was all, but it was weird because people could, like, live heckle you. Uh, so people would type in the messages. And it, for some reason, it felt more acceptable there to do that on Zoom, like to type in the messages and just comment on every single joke. Um, and for some reason, oh, yeah. and for some reason Oop. it was less offensive. I mean, I wasn't as offended as I would be on a live show. And it's like, I didn't have a micro, I didn't have a microphone. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I didn't have a microphone because we're on Zoom. Um, I did some more performance things because I had access to more props. So I was doing a little more like on that, some clowning and things like that. Um, but uh but um yeah, there was no microphone. So yeah, so it just felt like the the heckling and the the comments weren't as bad because you could choose not to pay attention to it or you can and you could riff off of it and felt kinda like a live podcast almost. Mm -hmm. Um but I did that a little bit, you know, I did a few shows here and there, um, I made a movie, um, I went through some roommates, <laughs> you know, I mean, COVID, you know, we were all just trying to figure out what our purpose was, oh, that's when I started a voiceover school, um, I got, that was, the government was, like, believed in me, and I was like, oh, you can make money doing this, and I was like, yeah, and then I never did it. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of uh of the like the funniest voice people. I mean, like the Homer Simpson voice guys, and oh the pol yeah. police academy voice guy also. Yeah, and it's hard. You you have to be the the best guy or girl or they or whatever. The, the best Bar person. The Bart Simpson lady that the yeah. The, the, the lady that does Bart Simpson. Yeah, that yeah. I forgot who that was, but yeah. Yeah, and the lady that does Bobby on King of the Hill. You know, all the women who play men There's and boys. Uh, right, right. There's <laughs> a, the lady who does Lisa is was in some... Yeah. Like, every once in a while, you like some you put a face to a name. It's like, oh, yeah, that's the... Yeah, and there's a lot of big names, and they made it, and I think um, the landscape is changing so much um, because of technology, and like people are kind of... Having a hard time catching up with the rules. Yeah, um, with the uh, yeah, because there's uh, stuff can like AI yeah. can voice things, or I guess you could get it. Yeah. Or have you ever w w have you done any? Have you read an audio book or read an uh, audio chapter or anything like that? No, my my work has been. I mean, I have for auditions. Uh huh. Um, and my work has been limited. I did some uh, audio. Like uh, description for um, movies, so like blind people have some audio description. That's what. Have you heard of this? Uh. -uh. It's so blind people, um, when they watch a movie, they can have the option to have an audio describer describing the movie to them. Okay. Between the dialogue, like there will be dialogue, and then the aud audio describer will be like. The man walks over to the bush and leans <laughs> down and <laughs> picks up a rolled up piece of paper, and you know. So I did some of that, which uh -huh. was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah, but but I haven't been, it's very difficult, I, you know, I'm, it's, it's, a, it's a skill that I have not mastered, um, so I'm just taking it slow and uh, learning, learning where I can and doing what makes sense. Okay. So, uh, so what, uh, what else, uh, what do you, what do you, so are you, are you, hmm, what else are you focused on in your act these days? Or? In my act? 
Um, I'm, I'm really just as you as you hone it for the 2023 van, the, all the all the shows in the bay. I know. I, I know I'm so prepared. <laughs> I've just been pouring over these jokes. <laughs> no, um, that's definitely it's gonna be a little Your bit. Your kindred spirit, I could see it. Yeah, I, the <laughs> best preparation is no preparation. <laughs> exactly. um, that's my fault. I'll leave it at that. You know, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So, but the, now that's there's some there's some truth to that, right? Because you, uh, I mean, if you go in, you can try to really prepare a ton of stuff, but like, you kind of need to read the like you said, read the room. Yeah. Um. I mean, I have an act. Um, that I can fall back on, which sounds so pitiful when you say it like that. Um. But uh. No, I mean... A set. Say a set. I have a set. I have a set. <laughs> you have a set. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have a set. I mean, you have a set. You move things around. You try different things. Um, you know, I record all my sets. So I, I need to... I guess what I'm anxious about right now is my phone recorder is full and I got to erase some things and I have to, that means I have to listen to them and label them and, and all that. So, um, but... Uh- but yeah, you have a set, and uh, th- I I like to do crowd work when it makes sense, um, and it feels right, and it's good to kind of go in. That's another one of Hicks, Bill Hicks' principles: is you kind of go in, and you don't start your act until you get on stage. You don't. You, you just like, you you don't know what you're gonna say until you're right there on stage, and there's some truth to that for me. I mean, I usually try to prepare my opener or something, but it is really, you're in a really nice creative place when you can go on stage and really just be present and in the in the room. So, that's the goal. That's always the goal. Uh, that That's aw- that's awesome. That's, uh, um, yeah. because, like, uh, yeah, I, I I think that makes like yeah, that makes sense as a thing to to shoot for, but then, so t- talk to me about or if you could tell tell my audience about how much how much comedy do you end up listening to just as by virtue of being in shows like oh more than I would like I <laughs> mean uh, like I said at the outset of all this I hate comedy <laughs> I don't like watching it it's boring. <laughs> The long self-indulgent monologue uh-huh. from some man. <laughs> no, um, no, I, I don't. Uh, yeah, you watch a lot. I mean, it's good to know who your colleagues are, um, and I always appreciate when people are funny and do a good job. Um, but yeah, when you have to go to like punchline, or like when you're scouting clubs or shows or you're on shows, it's kind of rude to just leave when you're done um so right yeah you watch a lot of comedy right and open mics you watch a lot well it's like you don't you you go to a gig and you don't think that um like you're going to the gig to perform but you're going to spend the majority of that gig listening to other people perform right i mean yeah most like yeah i mean yeah <laughs> it's it's and then does that change? And, then, and that <laughs> might change what you want to what you want to say, like what you want to if if you're gonna. That's true. I mean, it is good. That's why it's good form. Yeah, it's right. definitely good form to stick around because um, so many people. I mean, I feel like so many people look at it as like a competition, mm-hmm. like they're trying to one up. But but it's better to look at it as a collaboration, collaboration, because uh, you're all trying to put on a show and you're all getting a percentage of the tips and one the whoever's funnier doesn't get more money usually you mm-hmm. know unless they're the headliner which d- again that doesn't mean they're funnier it just means they're the headliner mm-hmm. uh, but uh, but yeah you're all trying to put on a good show so if you tell a repeat joke or like a very similar theme and you don't even acknowledge the other comic when you tell that if you acknowledge the other comic, then it's fine. But if you can pull it off. But like, if you if you show that you weren't even listening, just show that you're not a cohesive entertainment unit. You know. Right. 
Well, it's interesting. It makes me think of like uh, as if it's like uh, stand-up comedians are almost like a comedy troupe, just the same way an improv comedy huh. troupe is a comedy troupe. You know, they're the troupe that doesn't want to be a troupe. Right, yeah, they're, they're like, fuck like, this, yeah, I hate this. We're not going to, no, I'm not going to rehearse together. We're not going to rehearse yeah. together, but, yeah. oh, you know. Oh, I got to, well, I got to book <laughs> you now that you booked me, you <laughs> fucking hack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that makes, no, that's. All this, yeah. all this harassment. <laughs> but then, but then you go, so you're in the, you're in there listening to them, like five other acts, mm. but still, like, when you go up, it's a big, like, I mean, did you stop getting nervous at some point? Uh, no. No, I still get very nervous. Yeah? Um, yeah, it's like a problem. It's like physical. It's very physical. Nerves. Yeah. So my hands get really cold and clammy and I can't move and I like get nauseous. It's bad. Uh-huh. Um, so, and you think you don't get nervous, but it manifests so physically that... Like you don't, I like I don't necessarily feel it in my head, like nerves. Uh-huh. It's in my body, so I don't know. I, do you think that's addictive? Uh, like a, it's like a kind of a rush. Like, is it like a? a I I don't like the feeling of going on stage like the feeling before, but the feeling after, yeah, absolutely. Huh. Yeah, that's very addictive. Huh. Um, and does it does probably it, why I still does it matter if you uh if you you know if you kill or if you bomb like is it is the oh feeling yeah di- oh absolutely so the feeling is yeah. addictive after for doing so the feeling for uh, bombing is not addictive yeah it's say. just like drugs it's <laughs> like you know you'd smoke pot uh-huh. or do fentanyl <laughs> uh-huh. one day uh-huh, and yeah. it's working really great for you it's serving <laughs> its purpose i mean you do it another day when you gotta go to work or when you'd like I just like the worst time ever, uh-huh. and you're just kicking yourself like you fucking idiot. You uh-huh. know, why the fuck did you do that? Uh-huh. Why'd you go to this open mic tonight? There's no one fucking here. <laughs> no, you know. So it, like some some crowds are tougher in just because they're quieter. Like there's not as many people in them, but some crowds are like uh. Yeah, I mean. But some crowds are tougher because they're heckling or something like that. Sure. Yeah, hecklers can be rough depending on the makeup of the room. Um, some people are quiet. Some people don't want there to be comedy. Like, they didn't know it was going to be there. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then you start wondering who to blame. <laughs> like, do you blame the producer yeah. for putting a show there? Do you blame the venue for agreeing to have a show there? That sounds do like a good... you blame yourself? <laughs> Potentially, that's a good bit to yeah. talk about. Yeah. yeah. I don't... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> I keep I accidentally I p- pressing this mic against my face, like I'm I know, slightly I'm like trying you know, not to touch it. I don't s- know. Yeah, and then it's like yeah, exactly. Every, every time I do it. that, it, it makes a. I'm sure it makes a sound in the recording. Oh yeah, you know, it like probably a, does. So I'm so I'm screwing yeah. that up every time I do that. That's it's, okay. Yeah. It's gonna, I guess it'll have it'll have to be. Yeah. 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 Huh. Um. What's the so? What's it like? Because I've never the the biggest room I ever played was like the Milk Bar, I think. Yeah. It's like some rookie comedies. R- and milk things. Bar, yeah. Uh, and that like place can get people or something that like can that. can get packed in there. Uh huh. Yeah. What's it? What, what's it, what's it, what are some of the bigger rooms like, or how's it like to? Uh, cause you, you've um, done a lot. You've done this more of this, so. Yeah, it's I. Uh, I played the San Jose Improv, which was pretty cool. That's where I saw yeah. I saw Norm Macdonald there, yeah. Oh yeah. And 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 a couple other people, yeah. Yeah, and that that room is just big. It's just, but and I don't. There were a lot of people. I mean, it it it, w- it was pretty neat. I'm almost happy I couldn't see them because of the lights. Because mm-hmm. I think I would have, and, and oh my God, I was nervous. I was nervous. I was thinking like I you, was you not might not be able to see well. them. Yeah, because. Uh, I, yeah, and I was just nervous going up there. I like couldn't stay in the green room. I was like pacing around the block. I was just, I was, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so, so, so but it was good. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, because you, you still hear people, you hear people in the audience and you just, talk in their direction and yeah well part of the problem with that well not problem but the reason why it's so hard was because it was six shows in a row and they told me 
like just a few days before I was opening for uh, Jesus Trejo. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was Is he related cool. to Danny Trejo? Uh, no, he. I think he gets that question a lot yeah, but yeah. i don't i don't yeah. think he is yeah um but uh he's pretty he's pretty good uh-huh. um but right he had a bunch of shows all weekend and they told me like two nights before and um i had to or i had to like arrange everything with my parents and make sure i had help down there because you didn't have the van yet i didn't have the van yet yeah and so it was kind of a it was a little logistically difficult and i hadn't been sleeping because i was nervous about doing well all weekend i was hosting and I was and then you don't sleep and then I was getting delirious because I wasn't sleeping like three nights in a row I didn't sleep the whole weekend and uh and I was starting to forget because I like to change my sets up you know I don't like yeah. to do the same set in a row it, it bores me but but that was probably a mistake because I was trying I was getting confused like what jokes I would did I had all this time I wanted to work out all this material but I forgot what joke i if i did that joke like earlier in the set not just earlier in the night I, I it doesn't matter if you repeat in the night but i was like oh fuck did i tell that joke five minutes ago <laughs> in this 15 minute set like uh-huh. I, I was like so paranoid that i was gonna repeat a joke and everyone was gonna know and they never had me back here and oh it was just terrible and <laughs> Like yeah. So you think that was you think it affected like some so you think your your better ones were the, some of the earlier of the six, but by like Sunday maybe it was a little yeah, bit yeah I was getting deteriorated. A you think maybe I mean <laughs> I'm I'm a little dis- I'm a little disappointed because I improv films every set oh, yeah? and I only got like one or two of all six. I was and I should have emailed them and been like, hey, you know what gives, but. But I, uh, I, I didn't do it in time, and I don't know. Too much time went by. I just never followed up, and and I wasn't sure how well I did. So I mean, I think I did okay. The other, the other awkward thing was my parents were there, <laughs> so, like all six nights, and I was like <laughs> telling dick and pussy jokes all for a whole weekend. It was like really awkward. But are you? Do you take after one of your parents more than the other? I mean, what are your parents like? Um. I might take after my dad a little bit, but you know, I I think I've been been becoming more like my mom over as I age, uh-huh. more as I mature, you know. That makes sense. Yeah. So. Um. So, uh, but I like them both. You you got brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have a younger brother. Yeah, he's thirteen. Oh really? Yeah, he's, he's way younger. Yeah, he's a cool dude. No, they're not yeah. way younger. What like? Yeah, I'm a lot younger. Yeah, <laughs> like sixteen years apart. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I like wow. moved out. <laughs> wow, so you were like, <laughs> th- born. you were like, you must have been like, because I, I must have met you like six, seven years ago. Yeah, maybe. So you were probably like 21, 22 or something like that? Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. So you were going straight and that's when you were, s- then and then you were starting out the, and that, that's when you were starting out comedy, this, or you were started even yeah. earlier in high school or something like that. Yeah, technically I started when I was 18. But I guess I didn't do it fully until after college, uh-huh. so around 2016. So you probably did catch me when I started uh-huh. going upward, and I saw you in the mics, and uh-huh. you were doing comedy. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and 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 uh, um. Something like that. <laughs> were you always in the Bay Area? Yeah. Well, I grew up in um. The South Bay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Close to that. San Jose. I mean, that's why your parents yeah. could go to that San Jose Improv. Yeah, okay. that's really my old San Jose refuge, um, and then I moved up here in uh, 2011. Uh huh. Yeah. So. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's uh, yeah, so that's that's like 11, 12 years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that uh, for college, around yeah, it was college. College. Yeah. College and then adulthood. Where'd you go? Berkeley. Yeah, yeah. Went to UC Berkeley. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. still get, does Berkeley have any good comedy these days or is there? I don't know. Uh, Well, actually, Four Bells is up there in this show called Cornerstone where I was in the video. 
that you thought I was going to have a show tonight. Okay. But I wasn't actually on the show. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was just a promotion for Comedy at Cornerstone. Uh-huh. I'm not on the show. <laughs> Comedy at Cornerstone. <laughs> well, uh, no, they're a good group of guys that you guys should check out that show. Uh-huh. <laughs> What um what about um so tell me about your movie. My movie, um I I submitted it to the Cards Against Humanity Film Festival, um but I hadn't heard back so I probably didn't get advanced but uh but I did make a movie. Uh huh. <laughs> um it was just a short film that I did with my friend like kind of like a horror horror uh, comedy oh. satire. Did you post it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, cause yeah, it's called a uh, masked and subdued. <laughs> yeah. No, masked and abused. That's what it's called. Masked and abused. I don't even know what my own movie's called. So, <laughs> are, what, uh, in what role do you play? Um, I play like a uh, like like a like a cyborg who's like going down the street, and they encounter this like pregnant lady and the cyborg's not wearing a mask but the pregnant lady is and they have a disagreement about that and it, it's kind of like a revenge movie too <laughs> it's like in two parts <laughs> I think yeah. I, yeah it sounds, it sounds, yeah. sounds familiar yeah it's it pretty sounds good. familiar like yeah. a, I think I uh, masked and abused <laughs> director's cut well, so Louis, Louis C.K. is another comedian who's big who's really like his second favorite thing is film yeah i love what he does i mean i love uh louis and and horace and pete is a really good uh-huh. thing that he did um yeah it's a shame that like he is kind of a dick in real life apparently uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. um but uh yeah yeah that's probably uh, a good way to, that's, that's a good way to sum it up where, where he's uh, yeah yeah exactly yeah uh, but he's funny yeah, yeah he's yeah, smart yeah. so yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. no, I, I, I like, I, mean, I like his show, uh, the show Louis a lot. Yeah, but I think so. Too. So in, when I was doing like in 2018, 2019, I think I did a lot of, I had to do a lot of my, a lot of my sets were about like how I was trying to like, cope with what was going on with Louis and like <laughs> speak mm-hmm. about my own cope with it. My own yeah, <laughs> your role in all this. <laughs> what is your role in all this? <laughs> Well, it was well because no. Here, so I here's what I would say. He was like, uh, he was uh, a a guy a very he was very relatable, and then so f- and here he was is like a, relate- a yeah, relatable yeah all, all relatable those other schleppy child. male who was just like you know go up there he wouldn't dress up and he'd do his yeah. little jokes about how he jerked off or this or that or whatever. Now and then kid, and, and he's, and he's, and he's be massively legal. successful, and then and then it's like, oh, he gets and he's getting. And then to see him, uh, so to have him, yeah. get canceled was like a. Uh, uh, it was hard for me. It was a blow to the balls. <laughs> yes. It was a blow to the balls. <laughs> yeah, all his relatable, disturbing humor about sucking dick. <laughs> yeah, all that. No, he's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who to believe. <laughs> but, but what do you uh do you ever use do you I mean or how often are you using the stage for like therapeutic reasons like there was a show in the city I think called like cheaper than therapy right Oh yeah I don't do that one because <laughs> it's not wheelchair accessible <laughs> oh, shit. But no diss um but uh yeah no, I think it's therapeutic. I haven't been. Th- sure. I haven't done that show either. I just was mentioning it because of the title. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's got a great title. Um, I'm doing the knockoff mental health comedy hour <laughs> on October 14th, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, like all out theater. Um, but um, I think it's therapeutic. Uh, yeah, it's not therapeutic in the sense that. You can just go on stage and vomit all your no. problems, but no, yeah, because it is an art form too. Yeah, so it's it's therapeutic in that sense, like just like a painter might relieve some tension by painting a yeah, something that's on their mind, or you know. Yeah, it's like um, yeah, you can't just yeah, you don't. It's not just like oh, I'm gonna go to the th- go divulge everything that's going on. 
unless I mean, everything that's going on is funny. Like if it's yeah. you have to sort of like run that through your brain at some point. Like, oh yeah, and I've done that. I mean, I've had date like I I got I got robbed on Bart. But you remember that? Um, <laughs> Sounds that familiar, ago, but I don't. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Uh, maybe uh, yeah, I don't know. I posted like a donation. For my van, because I got robbed. Oh, okay. And, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and, and I went up at Punchline that night, and I didn't even workshop that joke before. I just told the robbery joke. Um, and it went really well. So, yeah, those are those types of magical moments are really nice. When well, you when you find the, when you find the, the butt up bump, as my <laughs> friends would say. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, yeah. So my finding the finding the punchline, but that, that see, that's uh, yeah. I I I was uh, a harsh thing you could tell a aspiring comic is that they should write some punchlines into their material. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Unless you're like a weird, absurdist <laughs> storyteller, <laughs> non sequitur, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I mean, punchlines are punchlines are important. <laughs> That's I guess that's yeah. that's what makes a joke. Yeah, a joke. No, nobody likes a rambler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but the therapeutic part is uh, I remember that show about the, the female comedian who was in the fifties or whatever. What is the um, Miss M- M- Maisel? Oh yeah, I'm watching that show right now. Are you? Yeah. What yeah. Do you think? I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's um. It's a period piece. It was I'm enjoying it though. But but, but they, they definitely were using that conceit of like you know, like the her her becoming a comedian is all like her. T- it's like oh the, you know, this the, the, my husband is leaving you know. Oh <laughs> yeah, it is funny because I don't I don't I I don't particularly think Mrs. Maisel is that funny. Uh-huh. Um, but maybe for the time, yeah, it was very transgressive. <laughs> for a woman, that, like they're kind of portraying, right. like, like there's, you know, she got kicked off stage by the booker for saying the word pregnant. <laughs> spoiler, I should have said spoiler <laughs> before. Sorry, god damn it. <laughs> Un- unlisten, but um, that's yeah. a that's a very 21st century problem that you gotta you gotta make sure you say spoiler all the time. I know, like, like fuck you for not keeping up on pop culture. I shouldn't have to say spoiler. <laughs> Watch some It's not a, it's not a Marvel movie. I mean Yeah, if you haven't <laughs> seen it already, then it's been out for years. Fucking go watch it. It's a good show. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's yeah. maybe like season three or four right now. Um Yeah, they're moving along. Yeah. Yeah. Well that um well that that but that definitely I think that is an attract uh, I like the idea of using it for therapy, but and and that's a, that was the thing like when they Louie and Seinfeld and Chris Rock and Ricky Gervais they are talking about comedy, mm-hmm. and uh, and they expo- they almost explained to Seinfeld that Louie's style is more like this, uh, I don't know this a dark like yeah it's like, like what his whole life story or he's. He's coming from more it's basically coming from a more real place. More personal, I guess. yeah. Well, yeah, personal, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Seinfeld is all observational, I mean, mostly. I mean, Seinfeld could be personal too, but it's more like, oh, I was walking down the street, you know, like it's not like, uh, sorry, Seinfeld, um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely more personal. It's more life history mm-hmm. type stuff. Um, I think that's what comedy is moving toward a little more. Um, but I don't think it has to be. I mean, Norm McDonald doesn't lean heavily on that at all. So, you know, and he does great. It's all about, the goal is laughs. Like you know, you know, That's the or, important thing. Or reaction. I mean, you're a performer. Yeah. So you're trying to orchestrate a mood. And, um, and neutral is the worst one. Like if no one is having any reaction or just sitting there and Interesting. Yeah. then that that's probably not the one you want unless unless you're a weird performance artist <laughs> you <laughs> know which is yeah which could be uh, yeah. That, that's a that's a see that's a 
All rules can be broken. You just have to decide which ones to break and when why. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to be a master at anything, you will be able to break the rules. Yeah, it's like cooking. I mean, it's like certain things go together, um, but you don't want to feed someone something disgusting. <laughs> what's what's uh, what are you what are your uh, or what's what is the dating scene like now? What's the, <laughs> what, are the what are the Oh, I don't know. I'm n- I'm not impressed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I've been kind of taking a slight break cause just to, cause I've been working a lot, but uh, uh-huh. I might get back out there <laughs> since I'm doing comedy now. I'm gonna All right. Or what's the, writing. I should say like, what's the dating scene like in, in comedy? Like what, uh, do you feel like the jokes people are making about dating have changed a lot in lately? In comedy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. But, I mean, everything's about online dating now. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's the, um. Yeah. The 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 sign of the times. Um people talking about like, oh, she sent me this emoji <laughs> or something. There's like a lot of that. Like digital digital interactions. Digital. Not like your fingers and your butt, but <laughs> digital. <laughs> yeah. Digital is definitely your fingers. Yeah. That's that's weird. Digital stimulation. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um do, what do you do? You use um, emojis much? What do, what, are your, what is your? Uh um, I'm kind of a, co- <laughs> I'm a copier. Like if Copy they're paste. if they're a big no, <laughs> like I'm like a I'm like a mime like or, or a mimic. Like if they use a lot of emojis, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll 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 play. You know, <laughs> I'll throw some emojis in there. Um, if they're not big on emojis, I don't bother. Sometimes I do, even if they're not. I don't know. I if it can help. It can help alter the tone of yeah a, a statement yeah yeah <laughs> yeah right. um I don't know I don't like dating though I think it's uh, hard and and uh, not and it's it's fun to get to know people but it's well a lot of different situations well I I mean uh, you but you you're cause so you're kind of a flirt in your act like you're, you're oh yeah you flirt with the audience a lot. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the performance. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, and, and there is something about d- like comedy is a l- I think comedy is a little like dating, right? Like you're you talk to a audience like you talk to um, a date that you like. I mean, or do you, do you No. Or do you ever like do you ever go to a, a comedy audience and go like I don't like, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to show these guys or uh, I'm gonna uh, start pulling back because the yeah, state is going that. well. Yeah, that I mean, sure, it can be like that in that sense, like, but uh, but uh, I think that's the only way. It's similar. I mean, other than that, it, it's more like being at a cocktail party. I would say, mm-hmm. like, sure, if you're with a group of people and you start telling some weird jokes and they're all kind of like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> then you might pull back and save it and be like. Oh, I said that out loud, you know. <laughs> don't try to say that. But um, no, I think when I'm dating someone, I'm intimately trying to get to know a singular person, and you have to put your ego aside a little bit. You know, you don't want to be an asshole. But when you're on stage, you can be an asshole. Like it's all about you. You're the one with the microphone. Uh-huh. They don't have to worry about your ego getting in the way. They want your ego in the way. So that so it's a lot different than dating in that sense. Yeah. That that, that I hadn't really I never really th- I never thought of that. So your yeah. you, your ego can roam a little freer on on stage. Yeah, you can whip your ego out, <laughs> and wipe it all over their faces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's weird. So is there? Can you like you give an example of like a, a <laughs> what it looks like when a comedian's. Showing off, showing off uh, that way. Pulling their ego out of their pants. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is a, this is a good example right here. Yeah. I mean, this is a tame example, but you know, it's not like we're just hanging out, catching up on our lives. Mm-hmm. I'm not being like, oh, Mark, you know, how's how's your <laughs> metaphorical children? You know, like <laughs> things like that. Um, so, but this is like kind of an ego 
to for both of us in a sense. For sure. In different ways. It's another I mean it's it's another stage like uh you know, co- yeah. I mean can comedians a, do this a lot, but it's entertainment. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily I mean, you could call this a performance. But I yeah. think it, it's more of an art in the sense that there's there's more to be found in the candidness of it. And just like acting, like like you're it's better when you're ignoring the camera, when you're ignoring the equipment, when it's not even there, when it feels natural, when mm-hmm. it comes natural. Mm-hmm. That's performance in a lot of ways too. Mm-hmm. So so that's kinda what we're trying to achieve right now. <laughs> it's very meta. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah, that's <laughs> true. Which which yeah, uh that, that that always seemed like a place to go on stage too, is like can I go to this moment or can I talk? Uh, yeah. Uh, so a reliable source of laughs is like in this moment, if I didn't get a laugh and I just wanted to write like, and yeah. I sort of but I s- can catch. Yeah. It's kind of funny to not get laughs. Uh, sometimes. Well, <laughs> and, and if you can get the laugh after you didn't get the laugh. Like uh huh. Exactly. You always want the laugh. You can get the, the laugh. That's, that's a, stand up. The laugh is a tag on the laugh that you didn't get. Stand up is kind of, if you're not, getting the laughs then you're doing something else that's and you can't you can't call it bowling if you're not wearing the shoes you know it's like you kind of i think i feel like laughter maybe maybe be the bare minimum for mm-hmm. stand-up that mm-hmm. should be the goal at yeah. the end of the day and but you should never compromise you know you should never do things that you you don't personally find funny just to get laughs and you should never steal and all that yeah don't steal, don't lie, don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh how what's the long like what's the longest set you've done? Um, I believe thirty minutes. Yeah. yeah. I I wanted I would love to try my hand at an hour one day. Um I tried to work on an hour um a couple months ago and it was very difficult because I well, first of all, I couldn't really get an hour of stage time, like one solid hour yeah. in front of the crowd, because you have to, you know, be able, like, you know, people have to know you and want to be there for you, and especially when you're doing an hour. But um, I was doing 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, 30 minutes here, and I tried to kind of cobble together a recording of like 45 minutes, um, but it was kind of a mess but i'm working on it i would like to do an hour yeah that um yeah that 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 sounds uh well i mean i guess i guess all the that's that's what all the big shots do they do they they do their hours or whatever but yeah but maybe in this maybe as we go forward like into this uh you know as our attention spans are you know Mm -hmm. shortening by tiktok like nobody will do hours anymore yeah i mean it's, it's a nice goal i mean it's good to have like, I think it's. G- I think people also like live shows. TikTok is going up, but people like live shows. Yeah, that's true. So it's good to have both. Yeah, have both. Yeah. 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 What do you? What, uh, you, you mentioned Bo Burnham. He's like a musical co- com com comedy person. Do you like the? Yeah, he has a lot of like meta humor too, like like about the set and about the stage and like or like he'll like comment on music that's being cued for the performance but then you make it seem like it was a mistake and then comment on the mistake and then you realize oh he planned it all the whole time it was like magic you know so i i like i like what he does with um yeah with performance yeah you know he's um yeah he, he he is he's pretty incredible um yeah uh so you got you got the van uh wait so you were robbed on bart what did that was that like uh uh was it you pickpocketed or were you like armed robbery yeah, robbed? no i know i wish it was more glamorous <laughs> uh, no it's just a, <laughs> no, be it's careful. Just a fucking uh, bitch she's just like some druggy that hope you're listening you druggy <laughs> no, um just following me around like she's tried to rob me on. I think she has robbed me. You'd seen me. her before. You like you knew her, but you, you yeah, okay. I think it was the same. See, I don't know if it was the same lady because she looked like rattier and more fucked up. But 
It could have been. I mean, time went by. Like, so, yeah, she, you she sees me, she tries to dig in my bag, and she empties my shit, and it's just so fucking awful. Fuck. Yeah, so I'm happy to have the van, so. So you're going to stay off, stay off Bart for a while? I, I kind of want to stay off Bart for a while myself. It's, it seems like it's a little little rough these days. I know. I don't know how much I'm going to stay off it. I mean, I don't want to park in the yeah, city yeah. either. Yeah. So I, I think I'm just going to reduce my bart age. Yeah. But I may, I probably won't eliminate it. Do you, uh, do you drive? Uh, can you, are you driving the no. van? You gotta, you gotta drive no, I got to hire drivers. So. Yeah. Which I did, and I'm happy about. Uh, mm-hmm. But that's another anxiety, you know, because I'm so used to doing comedy alone, going on bar alone, mm. and being in the bar with my drink in the corner alone, you know. So to have a person with me is going to be a new experience. <laughs> I had a driver uh, to go to therapy when I was 12. For oh, a while. yeah. Like a, a, a oh, that's awful. Some lady. <laughs> so you have to, like, get in the car afterwards with, like, your <laughs> two stained eyes. And <laughs> just, like... I mean, maybe, uh, yeah, like, therapy and tennis lessons. That are just like She wasn't things. like, how was that, dear? <laughs> what did you guys talk about? <laughs> Post-therapy, no, I don't, oh, is that I don't ri- remember that What is this, a rich no. kid problem? Or? Yeah, exactly, yeah, pretty much. Is this your mom? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um right on. So the so uh you have gigs coming up this week. Uh you have a gig on Monday. Yeah, and then another one on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Um forgot I'm, the I'm, name I'm, of I'm, it. I'm <laughs> feeling like I should probably wrap up. I didn't tell yeah. you how much time out of yours I was gonna take. I yeah, that's know. okay. I'd probably like probably went over but by, you've probably been I'm a little sleepy. I'm a little sleepy, <laughs> but it's because I'm a workaholic. But uh, yeah. yeah, come see me on Instagram <laughs> at the Painted Jade. The Painted Jade yeah. on Instagram. I got shows. I got shows. Okay. Uh, all right. But my, but well, what? Where are the good shows in in the East Bay? Because I don't. I. I you know guys gotta check out the Oakland Comedy Festival coming up. Okay. Oakland Comedy Festival. They're doing shows all around. Yeah. I'm going to be at All Out Theater on the 13th and the 14th for that festival. So. All Out, where is that? It's Where's right on Telegraph. Telegraph, man. Um, oh, I don't know, 30 something. So it's near, uh, rem- remember that, what was that, was the Stork Club was over on like yeah, Telegraph? Yeah, it's around there. there. Yeah, you'll find it. The just now defunct Stork Club. Just keep going down Telegraph. Mm hmm. You'll tell them there somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's in between Oakland and Berkeley. Okay. Well, hey. Uh, well, thanks for letting me, c- you know, yeah. interview, like doing the podcast. Yeah. Uh, thanks for I interviewing might, me. Yeah. No, I would. Uh, I would. I'm definitely a, a fan. I want to see what. Uh, yeah, you are. You you're on my Patreon. <laughs> That's right. I'm a, I'm a fan you, of the patron. You pay off my van. <laughs> you get my high school essays. Do you like them? <laughs> yeah. Have you lied to my monthly? You, you, sh- you should definitely sign up for Jade's p- Patreon. And if you do, please do the twenty-five dollar tier. Mm-hmm. And if you want to send me a message and say you'll do the twenty-five dollar tier for twenty dollars, I'll bump it down to twenty dollars. There you go. I'll, you know, fuck, Only f- yeah. fuck you, but I'll do it. You heard it. You and heard the twenty-five dollar tier is my pilot. <laughs> That I don't write because no one pays for that, that tier. That's kind of like a guy maybe you go for as a guy who's willing to will, who will bargain yeah. for every. Uh, so you see that and you're like, oh, that's this guy. Yeah. This guy knows how to stretch a dollar. He's oh yeah. Oh, all right. Let's yeah. Let's make it happen. I'm, I'm interested. Okay. It's pretty happy to see my my TV show. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Right on. Well, no. Thanks. Good. Good luck with the van, and uh, okay. and I'll be seeing you at your your next shows. Or, uh, good. Right on. All Thanks, right. Mark. You bet. Okay.